Hi, my name is Brent Wolka. I work for Applied Information Sciences in Reston, Virginia. <clears throat> and today I'm going to talk quickly about using the VM extension model to provision chef nodes um, in Azure using, using Azure VMs. So let's take a quick look at a typical setup of Chef Enterprise um, in which you have kind of three basic components. One, a chef workstation where you're building your recipes, push, pushing them up to a chef enterprise server or stack. And then you have your chef nodes who, are, who have subscribed to Chef and who are pulling down the recipes and applying them either on a schedule or on demand. In the demo that you'll see today, uh, we'll add a little bit more complexity to that setup um, and host our Chef workstation and Chef nodes in Azure using Azure VMs and utilize an instance of hosted Chef, which is basically um, a deployment of Chef Enterprise using a third-party hosted service. So you don't have to manage your own um, Chef Enterprise infrastructure. And the rest of this video will be a demo of provisioning the Azure machines that we'll call our nodes, having those nodes register themselves with Chef um, using the Chef client software installed by uh, the client extension model, the VM extension model, and then the, in the end we'll walk through the PowerShell script that actually does that. So we'll assume that you have some basic working knowledge of PowerShell, Chef, uh, and Azure. So here you see my hosted Chef instance, a couple of nodes I've already pre-provisioned that are being running, monitored by Chef, and then you see my recipe that I'll use for this exercise, install IIS, and for those of you that have, been, have used Chef before, this is basically the, the recipe that you get from the Learn Chef module when you're first setting it up. So it goes through sets a few configuration settings and then installs IIS on the node. And we use this recipe to verify our nodes um, having subscribed to Chef after we provision them. So I've got two Chef nodes here. These correspond to two Azure VMs and this will be our starting point. We'll be provisioning a few more machines that will function in the same way, um, Azure VMs. And as you can see, these nodes are already being managed by Chef, and they've applied the install IIS recipe. So here are my existing set of VMs. i got a couple running, a couple stopped. And what we'll do now is pop open a PowerShell window and run a script that will do a few things. Um, first, it'll take some input to say how many nodes we want. It'll give it... Uh, we'll be able to give it a prefix to say what the cloud service name should be. And then ultimately run the create Azure VM commands um, as well as these new commands, which is um, install a VM extension to provision the machines and then install the required uh, Chef client software. So we have that script. We'll look at that quickly in a minute. But that's what we're going to do here. And as you can see, my script is run. Five new Azure VMs have been created, and they're in various stages of starting and provisioning the nodes. Uh, five new using new Azure VMs using the new Azure VM command. Another thing interesting to note is that on one that's been provisioned, if you look at uh, one of these running instances, we'll be able to see the VM agent being installed actually here in a second. Right, and there it is. And this is a relatively new view um, on a VM dashboard. Uh, the extension grid, you can see that it's installing my Chef uh, client. So we've got our virtual machines provisioned, but that's only part of it, right? We want to start seeing these nodes as they come up and that client gets installed, starts showing up in Chef. Um, we want to see our recipe applied and we want to see Chef managing these nodes um, as they come online. So now if we look back over in Chef, you can see we've got our one node that's been registered or others will come on in a second once the extension finishes its installation. We'll go back over into Azure real quick. We'll, we'll connect to one of these nodes so we can show off a bit of the Chef functionality in a second. And then, yeah, back over into Chef, you can see our nodes are now um, registered in Chef. Uh, almost all of them have a running, running status. Um, and now we'll back into the Chef node, um, the individual machine itself will show a little bit of the functionality of Chef here. 
that install IIS recipe actually does a little bit more than just installing IIS. It creates a, a simple HTML file in the default virtual directory on the box. Um, and you'll see we have some custom text there. So we'll work on um, showing how Chef does a little bit of the CM of your um, of its nodes uh, by changing that file and watching um, Chef adjust the configuration file after to, to go back to the baseline. So that's what we'll show off as um, the last part of our demo here before we look at the script that actually did the provisioning with the VM extension. So if you look in default location for IIS, you can see I've created this. The recipe actually has created this HTML file default.html. Because we have IIS, a local web server, we can just browse to local host and we'll be able to view that file quickly and see our custom text in this web page. So we just put in that this is managed by Chef and we're going to make sure we don't change this file. And to show off how the CM piece works and Chef will actually change that file and watch it revert to the baseline in a second. Yeah, let's change this to something else like uh, this file at all changed. Our change is temporary, temporarily reflected. And then on the node itself, we'll just trigger a pull to this from this node uh, connecting up to the chef server to pull down the recipe. Now this, you can do this on demand from the node itself, or um, there's a schedule for when nodes check in. Um, so you, you'd automatically get this recipe applied uh, if you let it go. We want to see it right away. And, and, and as those of you that have worked with Chef know, it works on a pull model. So we can force that pull by using the Chef Client functions. And after a little bit of time, you can see my, my recipe gets pulled down. It notes the changes in, in um, the baseline and tells you what we're doing. And then it's going to revert that file back to our original baseline. So as you can see, when I refresh, it makes it file has been changed back and this is as a result of now being a chef node which we set up using the VM extension model in Azure and back over in chef we'll just click through a few of our nodes to demonstrate the fact that we're that the nodes that we the Azure machines that we just brought online are actually fully functioning chef nodes you can see our install, install IIS recipes listed here um, you have some environment inventory information as a result of being a node here um, that you can use. And this is just the basic out-of-the-box Chef functionality that you'll get as being part of um, the Chef system. Right, so we've done the demo. Now on to the more interesting part. Um, and this is, we'll look at the script for bootstrapping uh, the Chef client uh, software to make this um, machine to, or to create machines that are nodes. So this would normally be done um, using the uh, knife add-in for Chef, using knife bootstrapping. This basically mimics that functionality. So if we open this PowerShell script, we'll take a quick look at it and you'll see very quickly it's pretty simple. Um, those that have done uh, PowerShell with Azure uh, I'm importing my um, Azure modules to get my commands there, setting up um, base image and some other parameters. And, and you can look at this and see that we'll pass in the number of nodes and a prefix for the cloud services. Um, we have some script here that will validate basically our input, check to make sure all of our parameters match some um, criteria that, that we've defined. And then this is the entirety of the script here, basically you'll see the familiar uh, new Azure VM commands in Azure, if you've done Azure uh, PowerShell before, creating a new Azure provisioning config. Um, in my case, I'm setting up, um, uh, I'm specifying the subnet because I'll, I'll want it to join a VNet ultimately. Um, and then the one thing of note um, that, that might be new here is you use this set Azure VM chef extension command, passing it the VM, um, and the validation PEM and client RB files 
This is um, specific to this command, um, and it tells Chef basically where your instance of Enterprise Chef is, where, where this node should be talking. And then the run list is the set of recipes that it should um, execute when the node comes up. So you can see my command that provisions the new node, and that's the entirety of the script. And that'll conclude our demo and walkthrough. Hope you've enjoyed uh, this quick demonstration about the new Azure VM extension model and how you can use that with Chef and Azure VMs.